Well, we have identified one of those establishments that continue to keep us down. That is the state capital of Minnesota in downtown St. Paul. We were here on April 22nd, had about 10,000 people promoting fake science, letting everybody know that space travel, planets, solar systems, and all that are in line step with curing disease, uh, changing a person's heart out with a new one and letting them live, uh, understanding microscopic organisms, and then blending that in with uh, Bill Nye's new TV show on Netflix. If you have not seen Bill Nye's TV show, please uh, check it out. Don't really know what's going to happen today. Uh, clearly we're always here live. And I misunderstood or misread the information on YouTube. I thought I had to have a thousand subscribers to go live on mobile YouTube, but once I got over a hundred subscribers, I noticed that I could go live. So I figured this would be a, a great opportunity to debut that and we'll see how it goes. Kind of see where I belong in the whole community. I'm just trying to be myself. I'm not trying to take anybody's thunder. I'm not doing anything that would really give me uh, like something in an uncomfortable situation so I'm not trying to go outside of what I am familiar with or comfortable with uh, so with that being said we are gonna try to get up there before all those kids leave all right so because we got school buses over here and we'll make a, a walk up there I think in the last hour what I'm gonna try to do is go inside the building and just hang out in the atrium with my signage. <coughs> I brought a poster board. I bought this a couple of weeks ago, so it was the more spendier thing that I've bought in relation to this movement, but... So they are doing construction here. This used to be a pretty nice lawn until they uh, tore it all up. So I don't know what it'll look like later, but I'm not sure, uh, you know, they go until the end of this next month and to the end of June is when they're gonna vote on whether or not to have Minnesota be one of the few, or first, states in the union to have $15 minimum wage. I see that a poor connection signal keeps coming up, but I have full bars and I pay my bills, so you would think I would have better reception, so let's just uh, see if we can make these people uncomfortable and share some truth. I don't expect to engage too much with the kids because they're not going to, they have uh, people to reel them in, you know. Don't engage with a stranger, right? He's crazy. So this is a nice building. I used to work here sometime in 2000, 2001 as a Senate page. So we'll see how long I can go live mobile too. I don't know if I have a 15 minute window or 45. We might have to go live on Facebook later. <coughs> so with that being said also, if my connection just comes out, you know, and I'm in the middle of a sentence or something, that probably is why. Hopefully it's not because of a bad connection, but How you doing guys and gals? So Joshua here from Authentic Intent. We're gonna hang out here at the 
state capital of Minnesota. It's a gorgeous day. So, blue skies, they'd probably be more blue, but they're chemtrailing, so poisoning our skies and whatnot. So, we're gonna hang out here for a while, hopefully maybe go down to Lake Calhoun where we were a couple of days ago. This is the nicest day of the week. So I figured this would be a good time to just head on down to the state capitol and tell everybody that we're being lied to. And I'm tired of being lied to. I'm tired of my fellow Americans and human beings being lied to about who we are and where we're from. And that we do not live on a ball hurtling millions of miles through space. Water doesn't curve and gravity is not real. Okay, so this is what we got working today. We got our uh, fake CGI image of a satellite in space. And then we're, uh... oh, it doesn't like it when I do that. And then we got this guy here. Satellites, satellites don't exist on this guy, so maybe we can hit these these folks up as they walk by. They... Did you guys all see the moon landing? No? Did you all see the moon landing on TV? Yeah? It was a massive deception. We did not land on the moon. Please wake up. They used four filters to display that on TV. A camera on a camera on a camera. The moon landing did not happen, ladies and gentlemen. Please wake up. All right, so hopefully that'll stick with them for a while. Okay, so we're going to come up to here. I didn't know these people were going to be here, but this certainly helps. Let's just uh, make it really a point. We're going to go into this vacant area and just uh, draw their curiosity because they're not going to be re able to read what I have here. So they're gonna have to come up and engage with me. So, let's just stand right here, kind of in the center. It's really a nice day, so. It's windy though, it's always windy in Minnesota. And, uh, let's see if they can read. I don't think they can read it from where they're at over there. That's probably about 20 yards. But I'll let them hang out, you know? It's a nice day, they're all hanging out, talking to their friends. So if they're really curious, they're really interested in wanting to know what I'm doing. Hi! Hello! Uh, yeah. I need some assistance on how to wake you kids up. Got any ideas? They're thinking. Ah, what does he say? I think we should stand back a little bit just to kind of reel them in. What does the sign say? They say. Well, I think you're gonna need like a escort to come and see what the sign says. So she's coming. She's daring. Well, let's see. He's using his camera to try to zoom in on what I'm saying. He's cheating. Right? <laughs> I, I, you know, you'd have to come closer to find out. I know, it's scary, but you know, it's a nice day out. What do you think that sign says? Don't exist, yeah. They don't exist. Hi. Satellites don't exist? <laughs> no, they don't. Uh-uh. What were you doing Why would you think that, that satellites exist? Who told you that? Science. Science told you. But you ha have you seen a satellite with your own physical eyes in the sky before? No. Neither have I. Is that a video? You're right, there are pictures. And this is a picture of a satellite in space. What does that look like? Okay? NASA's lying to you girls, okay? Huh, he's 
they know, right? <laughs> All right, so we talked to, what was that? Seven kids before they got wrangled in back to the fold. So that was cool. We'll see uh, how the rest of the day goes. That was encouraging to see a bunch of kids. I don't want to walk too much away from the front. But as everybody goes in, maybe I can see if I can get inside and hang out in the atrium. Uh, it is a nice day outside. People come by and they visit inside and they walk around and check out all the fake history from all these fake people. <laughs> that building over there connects th via tunnel into this building. And then so does that building. So much like in Washington, D.C., all of the... I, I would think that all of the state capitals have tunnel systems so that they have various buildings connected to them. I think that one down there is connected to it. Uh, so... So they're gonna go spread the word for me. I got like seven informants. A bunch of, what do you think? Sixth graders, seventh graders came down and they were all girls, right? So six or seven girls come down to see what my sign says and I just made them question about satellites. So mission accomplished there, and then I got my informants to go up there, and they'll all be like, "Who? what was that guy? What was his sign say? Oh, he said satellites don't exist. And then that's going to go around, so pretty much by the end of the day, they're all going to know that satellites don't exist. I don't know why my connection says poor when I'm standing right in the middle, and these satellites should be picking up my feed, right? But we were having some issues on Sunday where my phone actually cut out twice on Facebook and pretty much ended my day because I just got too frustrated. So I hope you guys and gals can hear what I'm saying and it's smooth for you. Clearly we want that as a a plus so that you can all enjoy what I'm showing you and trying to wait till they go inside so I can hang out on the inside but now there's there's more people so <coughs> all right so we're already having connection issues <laughs> oh man I want to do this live we're doing it live tired of this I don't I don't want to do a, a recording I'm not gonna record it and then play it later that's not what people want so why does it say poor connection this is so annoying yo yeah all those satellites are really causing me a problem so we got these kids here. I don't know what they are doing. I thought they were gonna go all inside again. So I'm kind of waiting for everybody to go back inside so I can go inside myself and, and just hang out in the atrium and see how long I can hang out there peacefully. You know, we don't wanna create a ruckus, but intellectually and just as a presence, I think that will just cause a ruckus because I don't agree with what's being done inside and all the various people involved in, in allowing this lie to continue ignorantly, most likely. I do. I have to use the restroom. I'm only going to be out here for two hours, so then we'll go someplace else.
but we'll see if these guys want to come up and engage. I'm trying to see if I can, like, maybe change the resolution. Maybe it'll be faster speed, but, you know, they're not going to be able to read the sign from there. They got to come closer. So we'll see if they come closer. If they don't, then I'll just start walking up the stairs and hang out there. All right, so again, poor connection, constantly. How would it be any different on Facebook? I, I have full bars, and I don't understand why I'm having a problem right now. I'm kind of getting irritated. All right, so now YouTube wants to shut down on me. My, my YouTube just crashed. Here comes the meat wagon. So I don't know if you're familiar with the news that was just given today that NASA will give an announcement tomorrow about a fake mission to the sun that they're calling touch the sun so if you're not familiar with that news article check it out you could just type in NASA and then go to news and the most recent headline will give you that information about this unbelievably fake mission to the sun how okay all the kids are coming back out so hey maybe we'll draw some kids in we're kind of at the back point so for kids to uh, be tempted to see what my sign says and engage they got to come down here and see it because I'm not gonna yell it Appreciate everybody stopping by though and just hanging out. I mean, I don't have anything going on. It is so windy. <laughs> I just, I'm, I don't know what to do. Like, if there's anything that I could complain about in Minnesota, is the wind. It can't ever be 85 and nice. Just calm, no breeze. It, there's always like at least a 10 mile an hour wind. Always. I actually blew my uh, particle board away earlier, or the my signage. <laughs> I didn't know if it would like blow away and then break in half. That would be. That would probably make me cry. But it, I mean, the wind is helping me hold the sign because I just stand in a fashion that it just presses up against my body. So. So we're just going to have a constant stream of poor connection. So if it is like bad where you can't, if it's just not even worth watching, uh, let me know. Otherwise, you know, if this is good, you know, it is what it is. We're live, you know, we're, uh, if I taped it, you know, we would have a reception, but she, she's being asked if she can have, if one of the kids can go over, can we go over and see what the sign says? Come on, walk by. I'm just gonna let the kids come over. I'm gonna wait to see if they do, and if they just walk away, then I'm gonna go up, up inside and see how long I can hang out in there. Videotaping. They might have a problem with that. And I, pro I don't get very good connection now, so if I was to go into that building, probably wouldn't work out very well, but we can give it a shot. 
but I want to see if these kids will come up to me. They're curious, that's for sure. Could just stand up there at the the door, just kind of getting a feel for where people go in and out. Saw some old people come out on the left side over there. So we're just gonna wait till these kids figure out what they're doing. I'll give it like another couple more minutes and then I'll start walking up the stairs. I think that's probably my best place to camp is like right in the middle of that entrance there where those people are coming out. But I would like to just go inside and see how long I could stay in there and whether or not I have good reception because for whatever reason I have a poor connection when I'm in the middle of no buildings. I mean there's just there's no I mean and look at all of the towers that are around here, you know. It's like really So anyways, back to my point about that fake mission to the sun. Tomorrow, that satellite that I was, uh, that actually I have a picture of right here, that's Viasat. That's supposed to be launched tomorrow in France. It was delayed about six weeks ago because of, quote, riots and or protests, you know, and whether those were uh, organic or not is totally up to anybody's interpretation, but... All right, so those people are are gone. So let's just gingerly uh, start walking up here. <laughs> How you guys doing? Good. How are you today? Oh, I can't complain. It's uh, finally a nice day. Yes. Yeah. put some doubt in their mind. So they're getting curious. So I think I can start to slowly move back up. And uh, see, we gotta do, you just gotta put out the lure, you know? Just gotta get people interested. You don't gotta flood them. <coughs> but, uh, Just a doubt. That's all we got to do. That's what the enemy does in this reality is he just creates a little doubt in a person's mind. Where do your ideas come from about outer space? Fairly good connection, so hope you're all seeing this right now. Those are just, uh, I don't know, but what do you think? Eighth? No. Sixth graders? Yeah. So they all saw. The all right. Well, that was a phone call. So if that interruption was more spam. All right. So they're all done. So let's go go up the stairs here. 
maybe someday uh, we'll have some flat earthers on these steps to promote uh, the idea that we're being lied to. So this is the state capitol building of Minnesota. I'm gonna see. Uh, open this door first. So we'll see how long I can stay in here with a recording going on. Ugh. Let's see here. So. Let me see if they have a Wi-Fi in here. Maybe I can connect. Who knows? Negative. Nope. Nope. No, they're not. <laughs> She's lying to these kids, whether they know it or not. Whether she knows it, I don't think she knows that it. they're lying. Or you can stand in the atrium and tell everybody that satellites don't exist. This is how I express my voice. So at least they're seeing our democracy at work here. I'm holding a sign inside the state capitol atrium that says satellites don't exist in front of a bunch of sixth graders. And they're being told that they have a voice in this country and they don't. Everybody's welcome, she just said. Is that a star or a pentagram? Yes, these kids are being indoctrinated into the mind control that is, is the United States government. And these kids, they don't know any better. I mean, these kids, believe, they all believe that we live in a spinny wet ball rocket hurtling millions of miles through space. So we got some people up top. Everybody can look around here. So, I mean, it is, it is a nice building. There's your dome structure up top. So the math teacher, oh, of course, math. <laughs> the
there are 29 other countries that are better educated than the United States. 29 other countries. Your education in, in America is that of indoctrination. You are told to memorize a standardized test. Who creates those standardized tests? <clears throat> I was doing better over here, the better reception. <laughs> I know, I know, but I can't. Yeah, that's great. I'm just talking to myself. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. is that okay? Okay. I'm just standing here holding my sign that satellites don't exist and NASA is a fraud, and you can't travel to outer space. You're being indoctrinated into understanding that outer space is real and it's not. Has anybody seen? You see, our space is fake. There you go. Yeah, there is. <sighs> How you doing? I know it's funny, but have you seen satellites with your own physical eyes in the sky? Not the time to have a conversation with you. Okay, but you're an educator, right? I'm not going to talk to you. Okay, you don't have to. I am a teacher. Okay, but you do. You should be coming to the understanding that we don't live on a spinning ball, that it's flat. Okay, sir. Please investigate such ideas. Okay. I'll be back. I'm just going outside for a second. Okay. Awesome. You don't want to engage, but you can mock me, right? Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to have poor connection when I'm inside because it's just a concrete building built with, you know, probably limestone and marble and stuff, so those, those aren't very good conduits for, you know, cell phone activity inside. So when I, when I do have good connection, I'll, I'm going to try to limit, like, what I say until I can see that the stream is better, but it is going to be a little laggy when I go inside. I hope you can hear that. I hope that can, I hope that's something that you can bear, you know. But when I do go inside, it's going to be a bit more laggier than, you know, as I'm standing here outside. And even me standing outside doesn't really work very well, but I did try to connect to a Wi-Fi that they have inside, but uh, it, wouldn't, it li wouldn't let me do it. <laughs> so, uh, we are just limited to my internets 
and the ground towers that connect my Wi-Fi wireless internets. So, I just wanted to, you know, go, uh, clarify that with everybody so that they know, like, why is it so laggy. So if anybody else in chat does uh, notice that it is laggy on their side, it's not on them, it's on my side. Um, so I'm just doing the best I can with that. So if you could just explain that to people uh, in the future. So we're going to go back inside, hang out in the atrium. I don't know if I'm going to walk too far around. I don't, you know, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I know that you guys would love for me to walk around and just talk to everybody that I see about Flat Earth. But um, I'm from Minnesota, so I just kind of understand, like, the Minnesota people how to effectively uh, get their attention and how to interact with them. You know, my... <coughs> okay. So even with that, I still, my, my connection still timed out. So... Alright, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, I have no problem talking to people. But you gotta, you gotta, if you've never done this before, you can't just be like Jojo the Idiot Circus Boy with a pretty new pet. You know, you gotta just, cut, you gotta get the feel for stuff, a feel for people. Not everybody's gonna want to engage, and that's just something that you, um, just gotta get to a point of just understanding how I go about my stuff and how I do things. Um, not everybody is gonna be drawn into conversations with me, and I'm not gonna be drawn to talk to every single person, because it, get, it gets exhausting. So if you do have a question or anything that you want me to ask uh, somebody, uh, by all means, if I see it, I can check it out. But I just wanted to kind of clarify that that's why we're getting a bad reception inside is because we are in a marble-esque type building, right? So um, if I can, I might be, I'll, I'll walk around a little bit and give you guys a tour of the inside, but, you know, I am here for a purpose and I want to make sure that that purpose is known oh these doors are heavy so, so you, you want to mock and ridicule me but you don't want to engage I just want to understand that right sir So we're just walking up the stairs here. I was a Senate page for the state capitol in about 2000 or 2001. So I remember hanging out here. That was the year, um, two things passed, I think 2001, 2000, where you had to legally wear your seatbelt, if I'm not mistaken, or something in that effect. What was it? It was something to do with a seatbelt law. And then there was another law that was passed where motorcycles could run a red light if they're at a turn signal and the turn signal doesn't, you know, go at a reasonable amount of time. So that's some information for you. I don't have to pee anymore. So we are at the Minnesota State Capitol in downtown St. Paul. Here's some of your occult rituals done by the establishment. They get all collected. <laughs> hey, they're all going to go around the pentagram again. So let's see if I can...
Come on around it like a ceremony. Okay. <sighs> hey, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? Good. I was just wondering, um, I'm just walking around the Capitol here, and I have this mm -hmm. sign. What do you think about the signage? Uh, about the... what? What does the sign say? Can you read it in English? Uh, I'll try. Okay. From the beginning? Yeah. Okay, Satel Satellites? Oh, okay. yeah. satellites don't exist. Yeah. Okay. What do you think about that statement? Like, uh, I mean, have you ever seen a satellite with your own physical eyes? No. You haven't. Yeah. So, on what evidence can you base your belief that they do exist? Well, mostly news and, you know, okay. what goes on in, on the media. Okay, sure. So, when they tell you something happened, yeah. you would never doubt that what they're telling and you is... some, like, pictures and, you know, just, just digital images of it. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So if you were to be shown a picture of a unicorn and it was on the news and they said that that was real. It's not like I believe in satellites. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so when, when, when you think of satellites though, what do satellites typically do for us? Honestly, I, like, I've never like, heard actually about satellites or like, been interested in. Sure. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, that's not a... Your cell phone works, so why do you even question how it works, right? Yeah. Okay, um, can I just give you an example? Like for this, what does this picture look like? Satellite in space? It's a, yeah, it looks like a satellite in space, right? Yeah. Uh, what does it really look like though? Mm. Like looking past what they tell us it is, what does it really look like? Okay, does it look like a real picture? Like you take a picture with your yeah. phone? No. Why not? Because it, it just looks like it's done on the computer or something. It is, yeah. They tell you that. Oh. Yeah, so for example, if they were to tell you that this was a satellite, mm -hmm. where is it though? Where is the satellite at? It's not in the space. <laughs> no, it's, does it look like it might be on the ground? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this is a satellite that may or may not be working, right? But it's on the ground. Mm -hmm. But then when they tell us a satellite is in space, they give us computer images. Of it. Of it, yeah. yeah. So does that make sense? Do you see, kind of see where I'm going? Yeah. Where if they can't give us a picture of a satellite in space, and nobody can show me a picture of a satellite in space without it being a computer, mm -hmm. How much more so is my statement then true? Could it be a true statement if we can't get any actual real pictures of a satellite? Yeah, until so we see an actual picture. Right. Space. Did you know that NASA continually gives us pictures that are computer an animated? Like all of their stuff. So if you were to use your phone and Google space art, like space art, you know, like Renaissance art or like uh, abstract art, you know, there's a term called space art, and this is what they do with space art. They create an imagination in your mind of what outer space looks like, mm -hmm. when in actuality it's not true. So like outer space is not real. Yeah. So as, as you were growing up, what was your favorite planet? What was my favorite planet? 
Yeah, or what is your favorite planet? Not Earth. Earth, not yeah, Earth. not Earth, right? Okay. Pluto? Pluto? Oh, you, so you picked a planet that they don't consider a planet anymore. Did you know that? Yeah, Pluto is one of the... Yeah, they, it's like a moon around a moon or something. It's really mm -hmm. kind of a bizarre thing. Um, but like, for example, Saturn, mm -hmm. you know, with like the rings and stuff. Yep. Did you know that we don't have a real for sure definitive way to see Saturn being as real as it looks until NASA gives us those images. Mm -hmm. So we can see the rings and stuff here on Earth, but to say that that is a physical object that could be landed on mm -hmm. is false, because we've never been there. Yep. And so what they're doing is they continually give us images of outer space to help them promote an idea that it's real. Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just got one more thing for you. Okay. What if I was to tell you that water doesn't curve? Water doesn't curve. Yeah, it doesn't curve. So have you ever been to the ocean before? Yeah. Okay. And when you look at the horizon, do you see the horizon curving? Yeah, like the water and the ocean and everything. Do you see it like curve? You do. Oh, with waves, right. But the, the whole horizon from one point of your viewpoint to another, do you see it curve? Yeah. Then how do you think that you live on a ball? How is it that, that that's true then? Well, the thing is, <laughs> yeah. we, we do live in a ball. Okay. It's just if the water and like the ocean was curved, we would be like, it's just, we are like a small part of the earth. We're okay. Not, like, you know, you know what I mean? Earth sure. It's really big. And if it was like circle in the United States already, it would be small, you know? Okay. Do you have any idea how big the Earth is? I honestly forgot. That. You did? This was like two years ago. Sure. Did you know that I know how big the Earth is? Isn't that weird? How? Yeah. It's um, something to me that the Earth in itself is 20 squared. Waterfall or something like that? Why not if there's a curve? Could I challenge you and maybe say that the Earth is flat and water doesn't I curve? Say, I can't say Earth is flat. You couldn't say that, no. even though you've never seen water curve? No. Okay. Maybe there is one part of Earth where like, water actually curves that we don't live in, you know? Okay. Maybe there's like, an ocean actually that curves. Okay, but, but there's not though. Well, yeah. Maybe it's not like ocean, but just... Okay. Could I just encourage you to check out like flat earth ideas and stuff? Sure. And just YouTube flat earth, mm -hmm. you know, and just see what you get. There's a lot of information that is going really against what we've been told in our educational system. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I sure. I would really encourage you to do that. Thank Have you. a good rest of your week. Thank you. Yeah. You <laughs> All right, so I think Yeah, they don't. So if you ever hear on the news that a satellite's being launched by SpaceX, they're lying to you, okay? Please believe me. I wouldn't be here if I was just trolling you. I know it sounds funny and I laughed first too, but you're being lied to by NASA. We cannot go to outer space. We've never landed on the moon and all the planets are not real, okay? They're all created on a computer. I know you want to believe your school system, and I've been out of the game for a long time to understand that we're being lied to, okay? Just look it up. Flat Earth. I know, right? That funny free speech thing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, but it's my opinion until you research it yourself that the Earth is flat. Okay? Lie yes, they are. So YouTube at home tonight, flat Earth. You will get so many videos, it will make your head spin and you won't even know where to start. But you gotta start somewhere, okay? Have you ever seen a satellite with your own physical eyes? Sir, you've been around the block for a while. So just because it's a light in the sky doesn't mean it's a satellite, okay? It could just be a drone or a weather balloon. But satellites as we're taught in school are not true, okay? I know it sounds, I know it's funny, and believe me, you're not the first ones to laugh and mock and ridicule me, okay? I go on YouTube, on live, and Facebook live to let everybody know that satellites do not exist and we did not land on the moon. Do you like to be lied to, sir? I know, and I, you, I gotta, you gotta answer my question or get an idea of that question. You don't want to know where you live, sir? No, why are they lying to us about? Because they're lying to us about where we live. And evo the theory of evolution cannot be true on a flat Earth. But it can be true when space expands infinitely, right? And there's a big bang and the goo is created over billions of years, right? That's a lie. God created you. And so when you understand that evolution is not real, and you're insignificant, you are not insignificant, okay? You are special. And NASA wants to take that away from you. Your educational system wants to take that away from you. You are all special, okay? Evolution is not true, and we cannot go to planets in outer space. Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is just an imagination propagated by Hollywood to give you ideas about outer space. That may be true, but there are such things called astronauts. Okay, have you ever seen one? In person. Oh. Okay. But how do you think they have it? How do you think they have the TV show? You have to get an idea and they have to have a problem. I know you want to believe that, bud, but it's a lie, okay? It's just, I'm just, I'm being honest with you, okay? I'm gonna be the most honest person with you here today. What about the people around me? Well, he's, but he's gonna think I'm crazy. Because you guys haven't researched the flat earth yet. But what does that have to do with it? Like, why does ridiculing somebody about information that you don't know about, how is that intelligence? school so you're being taught things that I learned and I don't believe anymore. Until you look up Flat Earth on YouTube or on the internet, this is just going to be comical to you. You're not going to understand. Can I ask you a question? Does that look like a picture of a real satellite uh, of Earth? Yep. Okay, which one is the picture of the real Earth? The one on the le on your left, right? Yeah. All right. I know, right? They don't, man. And until you research it yourself, you're not going to know. 
Satellites don't exist, bud. Man, I gotta get some fresh air. Yeah, right? Yeah. I know, right? Thanks, Michael. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> That's the moon, yep. Do you think you can land on that? You can't. Yeah, they're not real though. Did you know that they did the moon landing in a Hollywood studio? Yeah, I know they are. I'm on public property, ma'am. Okay. Okay, 10,000 10, people don't care. can come to my state capitol and promote they Bill Nye. I don't care what they promote. So I can come here and I can. I'm expressing my right. You are. You so are. if they alone. they choose to talk to me, if they ask me a question, I'm going to answer them because they respect. What do you got on your phone, man? You uh, yeah, it is li YouTube Live. Yeah, yep. that's wonderful. Yep. Makes you feel really good videotaping young kids. Uh, are you trying to make me feel guilty about no, something? I don't care if you feel guilty. Okay, then why are you trying to confront me about something? Do you believe the moon landing happened? I don't really care. Do you believe that I we live care. on a on a ball? Do you, do you think I care? You should. Do you think I care? You should. Okay. Awesome. Authentic intent. Yeah, do it, man. Hey, I do have a YouTube channel called Authentic Intent. So if you want to watch me. Hey, that's fine. This is a this is public property. Yeah. So authentic intent, okay? Like something's authentic, and then their intent is authentic. So, yeah, that's why I had, that's why you use Velcro, bud. Yeah, that's what your educational system's for, honey. But it's on public property, ma'am. Thanks, guys. NASA's not real. What, like, what is your purpose? Do you believe the moon landing, ma'am? Do you believe in evolution? Do you believe... Hey, man, they're kids. Please yeah, they are kids. Okay, keep going. I'm on public property. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Keep going. Why, do, why does them being kids have anything to do with it? I can, sir. It's on public property. Thanks. Appreciate your time. Please get used to understanding the laws of Minnesota. Statute 626.02 .02 allows me to videotape anybody I want. <clears throat> All right, so it keeps cutting out on me. Got the establishment there. Checking me out. You know, it's okay for them to come around and produce Bill Nye propaganda, but... <laughs> you can always engage with me, sir, if you want. Is it because I think alternatively than what we've been taught, sir, that you uh, are abrasive towards me? The, the moon landing didn't happen, man. The moon landing is fake. Authentic intent. Authentic intent. Thanks, girls. Have a good week. Please wake up and don't indoctrinate yourself into the educational system that is called the American school system. Well, that was fun, huh? We had the establishment come out here and kind of make sure that nobody got rowdy. We don't know what we're going to expect. I didn't know these kids were going to be here. But, I mean, it's the last week of school, so maybe they'll be here tomorrow. So there'll be a new school. 
So maybe I'll uh, try to make it out around this time tomorrow. And maybe there'll be some more field trippers. Too bad there's not a field trip in the science museum that I can go to and just... Bye! Please wake up! You're so deceived and you have no idea. They have no... and they're helpless. They can't do anything. What are they gonna do? Fight against their parents and tell their parents that they live on a flat earth and then... Oh, we got some more people here coming up. They're gonna do roll call here on the stairs, I'm sure. Yeah, right? Later, flat earth! See you later. Alright, so we got some more kids coming. Got a... <coughs> cheese wagon letting kids off right now. So we'll just kind of, you know, meander over here. I don't want to... I want to let them come to me, you know? I want to hang out just a little bit. They're coming. Yeah, the inside, it's just, it's really bad reception. It's a really bad reception. I'm going to see where these kids sit, and then... So that's the, I didn't hear tinfoil hat, but I heard stranger danger, because that's from kindergarten cop, you know. Kids wouldn't even know that terminology. And, yep, see, here they come. So we're just going to, just going to hang out here with our signage. <clears throat> hey bud, how you doing? Right on. Am I the what? Oh, yeah, I'm kind of a tour guide. I let people know that we can't travel to outer space because it's not real. Do you think outer space is real? Why? Because of Hollywood and movies? But it's not. I'm telling you right now here, so you know that outer space is fake. You see that thing up there? That's called the moon, right? We have never landed on that thing. And if you believe we landed on the moon, you need to start all over, man. I know, it sounds funny, but... Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, the establishment works for us, right? We pay our taxes in this... I am kind of a tour guide. I let people know that outer space is fake. And it's flat. The earth is flat. Did you know that? Water doesn't curve. When you're in the ocean and you're swimming towards the horizon, do you have a feeling that you're coming up to a waterfall? Right? No. No, exactly, because it doesn't curve. The earth is flat. Water's flat. Where's the edge? The edge may or may not be right there. Antarctica, Antarctica is not a continent. It's actually, it may or may not be the ring around which the water is held in. Because they're lying to you, bud. And they use education to indoctrinate you into lies. Hey, ma'am, if you believe the Earth is a globe and we're flying through space, then you love this reality. I'm going to talk to these guys here for a minute, just clear the air. How you doing, fellas? Good. I just noticed your presence here in the last 15 minutes. I was just wondering if we're all right. Everything cool? Hey, right on, man. Appreciate the support and the protection. 
Awesome. Yeah, I think a lot of kids will be here tomorrow too. Okay, you might see me tomorrow then. Yeah, right on. Yeah, it's supposed to be this nice tomorrow. Probably even warmer. So yeah. Sounds good. Right on. Do you guys? Uh, what do you think about this statement here? Satellites not existing. No. Okay. Sure. If I openly spoke and said that everything that NASA gives us is CGI and we've never landed on the moon and all of the pictures of Earth from space are computer images. They're not real. Hard to know, man. Yeah. But it is easy to know because they tell us on their website that they're all computer Im images. So if somebody, if, if an official website like NASA tells us that the images that they give us are CGI, I'm just saying a person's conclusions could probably lead to them understanding that outer space is fake. So. Hard to say. Yeah. Um, Everybody has their own opinions. We gotta keep moving. Yep. So. Sure thing, guys. Have a good rest of your afternoon. All right. All right. Let's uh, regroup here. Um. Those kids are all inside, so I'm going to hang out in the atrium for a minute. I just wanted to understand that the establishment and I are on good terms. And clearly I'm not making a ruckus. They're just uh, doing their job, so I'm not going to cause any rifts, but I am going to go back inside, of course. you know. And if... <laughs> You're not aware that when I do go inside, the connection's going to get a little choppy. Uh, it is on my end. It might fade in and out. So I'm going to, I will try to speak when I feel like there's a good connection. But do not be surprised if it skips a little bit or, you know, there's some laggy issues. So don't go inside, he says. Well, I got to go inside because there's a bunch of kids in there. Kids being lied to. And we'll just walk around and remind them of my presence. Plus, you know, it's been 30 minutes since I've been in here, so maybe some people haven't seen the, uh, oh, we got some kids here. Like, who cares about the light bulbs? <laughs> How about being lied to about where we live? How about that? Isn't that a problem? Who gives a rip about the light bulbs? This is what they're talking about here. All these amazing light bulbs. Wow. Wow. You know? Talk about indoctrination, like these kids are being indoctrinated, they'll probably be tested when they go home, but she has like memorized everything. It sounds so boring. I could prove the earth is flat, that would be more exciting than standing in here. Beautiful flags of hate, slavery, and indoctrination. Who cares? Yep, 
slave owners, people who hate other human beings because of their color. Yeah, those guys are really amazing. There's your pentagram in the middle. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <sighs> it's just all these kids here. Yeah. There's nothing to echo my phone signal in here so I get better reception. Lies, lies, lies. Actually, there's eight points on that star, so... <coughs> wow, nine years, who cares? Who cares? zippity doo -dah. Who cares? Like, you guys are learning about stuff that doesn't matter. They don't care for you. I wouldn't be here if they cared about us. NASA. I, I, oh, I thought I could answer. Sorry. All right, well, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. Some guy, so I was walking around because I was going to go up the stairs. And some guy walked by me and he asked if the bathroom was over there and I told him where it was. And then I asked him if the moon landing was real and the moon landing happened and everything. And he, he said, of course it did. And then I just said, uh, based on that, ev what evidence can you provide that it did happen? And he basically said, like, you just got to trust people. You know, he just, you just got to trust them. Trust them that what they said really happened. And so, yeah, I mean, <laughs> he doesn't know about Building 7. He's telling me about how old he is, and, and his age doesn't have anything to do with what's going on and what there is to really know. A person at that age is pretty much set in their ways, so it's going to be difficult to draw them away from their beliefs. But yeah, that's yeah. I don't yeah. I don't know if you heard that, but he did say I saw it, I saw the moon landing on TV. So, yeah, it's just, uh, it's frustrating. I can't go in there and hang out as long as I would want to. There's just a lot of connection issues inside the state capitol. So we can, we can talk to people, ask them a question, draw them in. like an hour and a half in so I could hang out here for a little bit and wait for those kids to come back out they'll probably be in there for I don't know what do you think 15 more minutes and then I could try to get them to interact again and then go to Lake Calhoun 
I'm going to try to hit up Lake Calhoun. That'll be a very popular spot at 5 p.m. People getting off work. And I should have a really good reception there, right? Because it's a lake and satellites and stuff just uh, bounce off and everything. Oh, there he is. I just wish people would wake up. Just wish people would wake up. Now I already talked to him. He was the guy that I talked to about the moon landing and he was inside, he wanted to know where the bathroom was. So him and I started talking by the bathroom and that's where I lost my signal. So it just doesn't look like being inside is like the best opportunity for me because it's just it's so choppy in there I really want to wait till these kids this group of kids come out because I hit them up and I think he's encouraging me to harass people but I already said before you know this is Minnesota I just know these people here a little bit more how to uh, interact and get them to think and question. Think and question. How you doing? pictures, huh? So I figured I'd got to come by since you're taking pictures. So what do you what do you guys think about this statement? What statement? This the statement here on the po on the board. Are you us? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Satellites don't exist? Yep. Have you ever heard that thought before? Has that ever come across your mind that satellites are not real? What is like some evidence that you've had in your past that you've come to that conclusion? None. None? Just, is that just, you believe what they tell you on TV or in the news or what? We don't want to have this conversation. Okay. Can I just encourage you to research the Earth being flat and not a ball? Because water doesn't curve, and that NASA lies to us about space and. I'm talking to everybody because nobody. But if he's like a physicist or like a, he does satellites and stuff, he's being deceived. So okay, that's and that's his opinion until he researches the fact. Yeah, I could do that, but this is Minnesota and public property, so I do have a right to videotape anybody I want. So, yeah. But can I just encourage you to check out information like that? Flat Earth and satellites not being real. Because all the images that we get of outer space are all CGI. Okay? I know it's new information for you, but you're being lied to, okay? That's great. But you wouldn't have any other opportunity to hear about us being lied to about where we live and the earth being flat. So, and now you're held responsible. Yeah, I do ask God and it actually tells you that it is flat in Isaiah 40, 21 through 22. So what else do you got? Please wake up. You're being lied to, okay? And boom goes the dynamite. Yeah, he, you do realize who you're talking to, she says. Like, I'm supposed to be intimidated. Like, we're playing Mike Tyson Punch-Out, and my first fight is against Mike Tyson. Like, I haven't worked up the ability to be able to talk to people in person, in public, 
about this topic. Like, serious. Like, really? Like, <laughs> so, we got them. Now they know. We're still hanging out here at the state capitol in downtown St. Paul. There's a group of kids inside right now. A bunch of sixth graders or so, something like that. <clears throat> How you doing? Good. Thought he was gonna not know how to open that door. So I got like 25 minutes before my two hour limit is up. I mean, it's just a limit for me. I don't, I don't, I try not to be a spot for longer than about two hours. I think that's long enough for me and other people. Yeah, they already called the police on me. And guess what? They said, hey, you're within your constitutional rights as an American citizen. Do what you want. Just do it politely. Boom. So this is what this is what happens when you fully, like, you know, just do one of the your rights. You express your opinion. Your rights are not given to you for the people. They're given to you to protect you from the establishment. So... I can have free speech amongst other people, but they can react in a way that I would not expect. And I'm in my right to do that, but I'm protected by the establishment from being able to do and say what I want. So if I talk negatively about our government officials or president or anything, I'm still within my legal right to do that. And so they can call the police or, you know, you guys can think I'm going to get arrested here, hanging out on the state capitol, voicing my opinion about NASA being fake. But you clearly don't understand the law and you don't care for it because you don't have any opinions that you feel are strong enough to go to your local state capitol or write your congressman and you just accept things for the way that they are. That's why things are the way that they are is because our past has allowed us, uh, people in the past have just uh, allowed things to just continue the way that they are. And so it's about time that we just stand up and stop accepting this like this. Why are you accepting this as real? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You go, you, you think this is a real picture. Like that's okay to you. And it's not okay to me anymore. That's why I'm here, okay? This is not okay to me anymore being lied to another connection issue boom boom so we'll come down here a little bit I've, whoa. I've even had connection issues like being down here in the open so anytime anybody wants to message me and come down here to the state capitol would be encouraging I would walk through here. Um, I got a 20 minutes or so. Let me see if I can connect to the Wi-Fi. See if that does anything. I, I wasn't able to do it when I was inside before, but pardon the uh, interruption for a minute. Just hang out for a minute, and I'll see what I can do. All right, well, that did not work. Looks like we got rid of some of the people who don't understand English and said to hang on for a minute. So they must, uh, see that's how short, 
attention span most people are. You can tell people about Flat Earth all you want, but the attention span on people nowadays is just really unreasonable, <laughs> in my opinion. It's just, if you don't have a video that's three minutes long cramming all of the information about Flat Earth into it, it's going to be very difficult for you to um, be able to be effective. I mean, you're going to get a lot of views, but you're going to get a lot of views because it's just, it's fun to watch or like it's convenient. In my opinion, you know, it's going to take like an hour or 90 minutes, you know, documentary or something, 45 minutes at least, to cover information that would really help qualify a person to step away from scientism and maybe go in another direction. So that's just my experience. Um, I'm going to go back inside and see what's going on. Uh, we are at the state capitol in downtown St. Paul. I do have bad connection when I come in here, so, but I think it's more effective than standing outside. Yeah, there are no materials that can survive. That's my. Got a couple more minutes. See if I can get some more kids to come down. I do know where the offices are, so I could, uh, next time, if I can figure out how to connect to the Wi-Fi here, I don't know why I can't connect, but it would help my ability to stay inside the building, so maybe I'll try. <clears throat> Tomorrow's supposed to be about 80 degrees and sunny, so maybe I can try to come out here later. But I will uh, get something to eat on my way to Lake Calhoun. And then I hope to start back up, uh, I don't know, maybe around, what, 5.30 or so? I got about 15 minutes to go until I'm going to try to cut this short, um, but I would, I would like to see if these kids are going to come down. So. How you guys doing? when I do that, but I got this. That going on, so try to look professional. I don't want to look like a schlep coming inside of the state capitol. All right. All right, I don't know if those kids are gonna come down here yet. Uh, 
Nope. All right, just bear with me. Bear with me, we got some kids coming here soon. Well, I'd like to go to Lake Calhoun because I still got a bit of a drive to get to there. So I was hoping that these kids would come down within the next couple of minutes, but. I thought they were going to come out in a reasonable time, but they didn't. So, let's uh, reassess the situation. Uh, it was really productive got a lot of kids to ask me about my YouTube channel, so we were able to get that out there and challenge the young minds about where they live. So it was a good opportunity today. Kids, that's what it's, that's where it's at, you know, like that's where a lot of kids are hanging out is in these video game chat rooms. So, if you have not been part of a Flat Earth Flash mob, check it out later tonight. I'm sure there's going to be some of those going on, where we just kind of go into live streaming chat rooms and just tell everybody the Earth is flat. And we go in there innocently, and we do pay. You know, we give you a couple bucks. And if you're nice... You know, then we get, then you get a bunch of thumbs up, you know. So, let's see what these guys have to say. <coughs> How you guys doing? Good. Good. What are we up to? Yeah, we have a project. We are like broadcast news for American government. Oh, American government. You don't yeah. sound, you don't sound American though. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. Europe. Europe. Hey, right on, man. Where are you guys from? Italy, France, Spain. Oh wow. Yeah, and we're like in a school lunch on some pole, so that's pretty cool. Okay. Great. <sighs> are you vlogging? I uh, yeah, I mean kinda yeah. I have a YouTube channel, it's called Authentic Intent. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Hey, thanks yeah, man. Cool. I just kinda go around and uh, today I did this sign because uh, it's bigger. <sighs> what do you think about that statement? Okay, satellites don't exist. Yeah, satellites don't exist. So what what do you want to well, what kind of uh, information would you have to prove to me that they exist? Because I'm here to tell you that they don't, but why do you believe that they do? Right, so I know it's really weird, so I'm pretty interested in like everything in the space, you know? Yeah. And so I used to go to those meetings and stuff, 
And there was this one which, which was pretty particular because there was the exact timing at which a satellite, the satellite's panel would reflect the sun. Sure. And so then, like I saw this, like the satellite like going by like a very intense light for like yeah. a few seconds. And then I like so that's a proof I have like actual proof I saw it by myself like this thing going by for like a few seconds. So that's I mean that was cool. So so let me get can I just help so that the viewers can understand? Oh. You saw a light in the sky, right? That that they told light. No, that no, because some people might say it's sorry I cut you. I'm yeah, sorry. just help me understand what you saw and what were you using in the sky? Like you saw it with your own eyes and stuff. So like yeah, it looked like a like a. Like very intense light. And it okay. A falling star. Is that how you call it? Yeah, yeah. Falling star. star. Yeah, but it was just moving gingerly across the sky, yeah, right? So okay. It was, you know, pretty like. I don't know. It seemed. I mean, it's, apparently it was satellites. Yeah. And uh, then why I believe in it? I don't know. There's a lot about it, and I. Personally, there I don't have any reason for myself right now to wonder why there wouldn't be any satellites, and they use they're used for meteor reports and. Weather and yeah, cell phones. Exactly. Yeah. Or the international station. The okay. ISS, sure. You know, like there are tons of like footage inside of it and mm -hmm. so yeah. How about you two gentlemen? How about you? just something that we know that exists. Yeah. That people like, think that exists. Okay. I don't really have every time so people don't really ask about don't really ask themselves about that. So what about like unicorns? Like if I was to give you a picture of a unicorn why, that's a picture, right? Like, why don't you believe that, though? Because you've never seen one, but you have a picture of one. So why do you believe in... <laughs> that's a good question. That you have never seen in the world. <coughs> yeah. While there are re actual reproductions of city, like, I don't know, the first example that came to my mind, the Washington DC, the Air and Space Museum. Okay. They have tons of, they have actual satellites, for example, or actual spaceships, but they also have reproductions of them. Okay. So, while, yeah. while I didn't see any, like, statue of unicorn so far. Sure, right. What I'm asking for is why are you saying that satellites don't, don't exist? Yeah, yeah um, that's a good question. It makes sense, right? I'm on the state capitol yeah. telling little kids who are in sixth grade that NASA is a fraud. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what does this picture look like? What is that a picture of? Well, it should be a picture of a satellite. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I mean, Looks like a weird satellite because here it looks like empty, like yeah. we see behind it. Okay. And like here, and I don't know. I mean, I never saw such a satellite with panels. Could it be in the reflecting X. the stars though? Like, maybe it looks translucent, but could it be reflecting the stars? The stars? I have no idea. Oh, okay. It's sure. Just, I guess it depends on how bright they are. Okay. Did you know that the moon right now? Where is it? It's right there. Uh -huh. uh, you can actually see through the moon right now. Isn't that weird? Like, it's not a solid object, so when you... Oh, that's because of... Okay, that's yeah. the reflection of the sun. So because... So you see the sun, like, right over here? Yeah, I see it right there, but how is that like that when the sun looks almost like... Kind of just next to it? How is the Earth creating that shadow on the moon? I'm just really confused. Because I mean, the, the sun's right there, and the moon's right there. I don't know. It's because the, the sun, so we look, we see them, they look pretty much the same size, right? They are the same size. But they are, I, mean, I don't know if you believe in it or not, but <laughs> sure. it's true that the sun is much farther than the moon. Do you know how far? I'm just saying, you say that it's far away, you should know how far away it is, right? No. Oh. I mean, just know that it's like gu guessing, I would say like 3 I mean, million if it's light well, years. Not even close. How much is it? Why would you think I would know? So why would you Yeah. But you're a human being living on Earth. You don't know the basics about where the, how far away the sun is. Like Ooh, that's. So, so then enlighten me. Tell me where. Sure. Yeah, I could. I would definitely love to. It's 93 million miles away. That, that's good. Yeah. yeah. 93. And then so the moon. Do you know how far away the moon they tell us is Go away? Ahead. 239,000. So. So it's a coincidence that something so close like the moon and something so far away like the sun are identical when they pass by each other. You think that's a coincidence? Do you, mean, do, you mean, do you mean the solar eclipse? Yeah. When the quote moon is in front of the sun, they create the eclipse, right? an eclipse, right? right. Some, I so it's a co it, it just is a massive coincidence that something like the moon that's so close and the sun being so far away, they really are the same size? I have no, I have no clue about that. Okay. I think it's like, those are like entities really, you know, 
be like the sun is much bigger than the moon and it's like for example so let's say i took my pinky yep my, and this finger right yep like if i show them like that uh -huh. to the camera i don't know what it looks like right now but you can make look like this one is as big as that one yeah somehow so it's the same effect sure but with much bigger things I guess. so you think a creator did that like made the sun that far away and then made the moon this close well, and then i'm not gonna uh, like talk about that there are <laughs> okay tons of different sure things. yeah i get it but my view is is that the view that you're trying to avoid is the view that I'm trying to get people out of, and that's scientism. Oh, wow. Yeah, I believe that science is an actual religion, and they use it in our schools to, as a church service to get us to believe in something that's not true. So if, if you can't prove that this is right now floating in space, because this is all we get of, it, of, of satellites in space on Google right now. So you had your phone, Google satellites in space, and all you get are CGI representations. But you can say that science is a fact. That's something that has been proven. By you? Not by me, but I don't think that there's a million people that are studying science mm -hmm. just thinking that it's a religion and saying bullshit. Sure. And, and there's not a lot of people that think that way. But when you step out and you step back from understanding that satellites in space are CGI, and then when I give you a picture like this, of these two pictures of Earth from space, which one of these two is the most realistic representation of where we live? How do we know that? This is from NASA. Those pictures are from NASA and their official website. Yeah. Yeah, I know, and I understand that. So, so the different perspective on the one on the right is a smaller continent, but the proportions of the two globes is the same. So how is the North American continent on the right bigger? I don't have any explanation for that. Although I, wouldn't I do. Guess. I'm raising my hand. Okay, go ahead. I have one. Um, both of these images, along with all the other images that they give us, are CGI also. What is CGI? Computer. Oh, really? Generated image. Yeah. So Pixar, Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. stuff like that, they why, use CGI to make those. Why do the government needs to create these images from the like from a computer like made up yeah it's a good question what's the purpose I mean, right i don't see any purpose in doing that exactly why can't we just take a picture of earth right i feel like this debate has no end because it's well it does have an end it does have an end though man the end is is that nasa has been lying to us ever That's since we end. were born my end is that i trust them i even use them why do you trust name. them man why do i trust them because yeah when everything that they give us is CGI about outer space. How can you tell that? Did they tell Because they tell you that, dude. They tell you. They literally verbatim tell you that this is a rendered artist impression. Then, then That's you, that's why, what they say, why, man. So when you show that picture, it's, yeah. it's rendered, right, as you say, right? Yeah. So it's where are photoshopped. The Show me the, oh, of course it's photoshopped. Of course, to make it look better. Why but do I have to make something look better? That's the earth, man. I just want it in it, all of its organicness. Just... Give me sources and then I would trust you. Yeah. And like, give me actual yeah. sources. NASA. With... NASA website, dude. NASA.gov. Yes. Yeah, but I want to see the sources about where did you where did you figure it out that those pictures are wrong and made up from computer? NASA. The Is people it? the people who create these images online in your magazines, Google images, they tell you that they're rendered, man. It's oh. called space art. Okay, you're familiar with like abstract art, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's a term called space art. Then space uh, art is creating an imagination of outer space to give to us to give us an idea of what outer space looks like. I'm, I'm and it's not real. Part, I trust in that design. Like it's not like that that you will make things change for me at least and yeah, there is space art. I believe in it not for those kind of pictures. Like I used to google like wallpapers for for yeah. the computer. Everybody did that, right? Sure. I, I did too, man. Tons of pictures of like far and far away, those are real CGI because there are things that we cannot look at with uh, the, the, what do you call it? The telescope, yeah, camera, the yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That you cannot look at them so far, so those, I guess, be made up based on calculus, math, actual sure. math. Sure, uh-huh. Do you know math as a language? If you say so, prob. Uh, but Numbers and stuff, so, so if you were to create, the, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I just want to give you an idea of the ISS, right? 
and you can download the ISS application onto your phone, right? And so when the quote satellite is going to hover over you, you can check your phone and then you'll see a light going across the sky, correct? Okay, pretty much like yeah. the experience back home. Sure. So if I was to supposedly grab a light in the sky and claim it as my own, okay, because I have the ability to do that because I know it's a wandering light in the sky that nobody else has claimed, okay, if I was to put a mathematical algorithm onto that light, okay, that's my foundation, okay, I create an app. Why would you create a global position system? Because they're lying to you, man. Yeah, okay, but why would they lie to me about that? There's not, there's no purpose in my, on my views. I know, I know, I know this is new information to you and it doesn't make sense of why people would lie to you or give you information that... To change what you're saying, this sure. is not information for me, I'm sorry, this yeah. is not for me. So this is, this telling you that all of the images that we get from NASA being CGI is not new information. Now what I, you're telling me is that the fact that you're bringing that it's all fake, all, all yep. of it, mm -hmm. this for me is not information, I don't believe it personally. Sure. So maybe for my friends, but not for me. Okay. So and you're taking somebody else's words for it, so that basically, that could mean faith, right? Because if you, if you haven't seen or done these things yourself, and you're taking somebody else's word for it, men and women who have written books before you were born come to these conclusions, and then you believe those books, isn't that faith? I mean, of course it is, but if you have to okay. go forward in life, or if the world has to go forward, we have to sure. believe in somebody to lead us at some mm -hmm. point, and, and somebody to help us develop and everything. Like, look at all the businessmen in the world. Okay, you may say some of them are like, <coughs> part of it are self-made men, right? Yeah. But I would say most of them <coughs> learned things in book or learned things because people told them and they believed in those people. Sure. So it proves that you can believe people and I think organizations such as the NASA are really trust trustworthy because it's not only America for it's I think it's international and like people from all around the world working there and just for me, there is no way to like to say that they are wrong or what they say is wrong because why? Where? So then, tell me, where does all the money that goes to the NASA mm -hmm. go? Where? Where does it? How? Where would it go? It right here, man. Right there. The myth. To give us CGI images of fake space. That's where so it goes. They get fifty-two million dollars a day. Did you know that? Billions. Fifty-two yeah, million so dollars a day. They, they get money to do. Well, yeah, because ball. if I do that, I go to my. Because you believe that we live in a ball, right? What? You believe we live in a spinning ball, right? Yeah. Yeah, and that ball, and curved. that water curves, right? Yeah. So when yeah. you're, have you? I'm sure you all have been to the ocean, right? Yeah. yeah. Right? You've been to the ocean. Yeah. Seen the horizon? Have you gone swimming in the ocean? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Have you taken a boat from the shore out towards the horizon? Yes. yes. Okay. So when you're in that boat, do you eventually get the feeling like, whoa, we're getting too close to the edge? There's no edge. Uh, we're gonna fall off because there's a waterfall there's in no front edge. of us. So like, it's wrong. okay, like it's round like a you pizza. Keep, you keep seeing the edge. No, not round like, like a, a ball. A ball. Exactly. Okay, could you say that though? Because being a being a circle or round that could mean a pizza or in a dinner plate, right? So round like a like a ball, like a soccer ball, like okay, you know, like a round ball. And and again, I, I and again, I, I bring you to this image again, man, because how else do you know, how do you know it's a ball without the without these images here? Right. So, as you, as we told you, we come sure. from Europe. Yeah. Show me our continent over, the, over there. Show you what? Our continent. Europe. Europe. Yeah. Sure. I'll show it to you right here. There it is. That's called a spherical projection. So I studied them. No, them. that's so, called a that's called a uh, map. So you mean okay? All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where's your, the other is right here. So what is that over here? That's Antarctica. All right. Yeah. That may or may not be Antarctica. Whatever. That's another sure. debate. Sure. Yeah. No. Okay, we cannot see here. So let's say, no, Antarctica. We, so where, yeah, where is Antarctica over here? They tell us that it's usually on the bottom, like right down there, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Have you ever been there before? Have you? No. Nope. Right, and I so, don't believe them. Right, I do. So how can you prove oh. that? I, mean, I think we're losing yeah. time. I'm sorry, we have a project yeah. to finish, and I think good luck with your job. Sure. I don't want to be a quitter, but like our friend has to go home and... No, I totally get it. Um, this is for school, so... Yeah, it, it, this is for school too, guys, because you're being lied to. And school is used fine, to prison fine. to keep your mind so in a prison. I just can't wait for so my you kids can't, to read what So you, you can't say. learn. But what if they do? What if they do realize in the future that we do live on a ball 
uh, on a flat earth and the previous uh, 500 years has all been a deception but there's people that have been to Antarctica and researching and okay that's like, faith man and I have a question but that's how do that's you know still that? faith how, how, how because you, you know? haven't been there and you're taking their word for it right to, yeah so, but there's people that are researcher and they make in the right facts for people they can sure know they don't have the possibility because they are not able to do that I know but then but you're taking their word for it right let me ask you a question right so so yeah but it's over here right yeah it's mm -hmm. around according to your words the whole earth since it's flat according to your right no but you don't but so you why, see why, why you can't you can't visualize what a flat earth looks like and the sun is actually a localized spotlight so in Thailand for example I spent some time in Southeast Asia huh? and at this time right now it's like 5 so in Thailand it's 5 a.m. there okay. so we have the sun localized here whereas on the other side of where Thailand and Europe are, those are the morning times where the so, sun hasn't gotten to that point yet. So if yet. I take like, this would be your flat earth, right? Yeah. You would say that the sun would be here, uh -huh. and it, it would be like, like, like this, right? No, I have I have an opportunity to show you exactly what so it looks like right here. The, the so how would it move? So if you want to show flat. it... How um, would it move? Yep, so how the sun and the moon and the, and the sun changes the seasons. Let's say that the sun starts here over America, mm -hmm. during it's the summertime. Okay, so all it does is just spins around like that. So as it becomes winter, it starts to gradually get further and further away. So then it's the summertime in Australia, okay, right? So, I, I, okay. so well, then that's that's saying, how it works. Sorry, sorry for my interruption. Sure. So <laughs> for how long have you been studying for about that? About 18 months. 18 months. Yep. So this Galileo Galilei there spent his whole life studying about the, the round, the turn around. And you're seeing that 18, in 18 months you figured out that everything is fake and that's not true? I'm not the only one either. Okay. Yeah. How okay, so this uh, if you give me fact team? that people have been studying from their whole life about that, the, uh -huh. the earth is, is not is not round but it's flat, maybe I'm going to think about it. But until the moment, I'm not going to even yeah. think. Yeah, and it's new information. And I totally understand where you're coming from because two years ago, I used to have that image of earth on my computer screen and I thought that was real. And so now, to look back at how I was two years ago, I couldn't believe that I thought that that was a real picture of Earth. I'm sorry for you there. So, but what about gravity though? How does gravity work? Like this. Okay, but why aren't you being drawn towards me? Isn't gravity supposed to draw us towards each other? Yeah, but, okay, so do you, okay, the Earth is flat according to your word, right? Uh-huh. Do you believe it has a mass? I believe it has an unmeasured mass, because I wasn't here when it was created, so I don't know. I don't, I don't have a problem with admitting that do I don't know something. Do you believe the fact that the Earth would have a much, much, much bigger mass than you, right? The Earth is significantly larger than I am, yeah. But can I also but bring no, you no, to no, the I'm point... I'm talking about length, I'm talking about mass. Okay, and so do you know how far we've dug no, into mass, the... No, mass, not me. Like, do you believe I'm trying a... to. I'm trying to bring you to that point, okay? okay Could you hold us on a second? What is the deepest that us human beings have drilled into the Earth? Do you know? 11 kilometers. Yeah, so close. What is that, like 9? Eight miles, something like so that. Keep, keep on going. Keep on, just prove your point. So okay. yeah. So if we've drilled nine miles, you know, or even ten kilometers, like even just to give us that as a foundation, that's allowing a lot of grace. How is it that we're able to know what is within the thirteen thousand miles in between? What do you mean? Like oh, like what's inside? The inside earth? the core, yeah. So how is it that they can tell us what the core looks like when we've only driven nine miles, and then we know what it looks like? 13,000 miles later? Well, how can you tell your, like, what you're trying to defend without doing it anyway? Like, Because it's observation, that water doesn't curve, so when you see a boat going over the quote, horizon, you get a powerful telescope and a lens, and you can actually bring that back into focus. Pilots of cruise ships know that the Earth is flat, and if you were to actually have a conversation with one and be humble about such topics, you might actually be enlightened and if you were able to humble yourself and let go of what you were taught as a child. And I had, it took a while for me to get to that point too, but I can only encourage you that what your reality is and how you perceive your life and where we come from and who we are is greatly distorted through our educational system. Well, I, I'm glessed for you though. Sure. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Good to meet you guys. Hope Have you guys day. have safe travels. What's the name of your channel? Authentic Intent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good luck, guys. Thank you. See you, gentlemen.
maybe that's why I was supposed to go. I just felt like I had to leave, you know? Like, when I was in the Capitol, I was like, oh, I think I need to get moving or something, and then there you go. That's why we, that's why we had to leave, so we could talk to those gentlemen, and hopefully they wake up. It's really hard. I know. <laughs> I know it's hard. I know it's hard to let go, but you gotta let go. You gotta, you just gotta let go of that. There's nothing wrong with letting go of outer space. You're gonna be okay. And once you move past what you see on TV tomorrow, they're gonna announce that they're gonna send a fake probe to the sun. Ladies and gentlemen, they're lying to us. Come on. They're lying to us. They are gonna blatantly lie to us and say that we have a probe, probably launched from SpaceX, going to the moon, or going to the sun. Well, they say they're going to the moon at the end of this year, too, so. And they really believe what they say, you know? They really believe what they were taught. Can you blame them? Can you blame them? <sighs> well, it's encouraging to know that they know now, right? And so just having to challenge them about what they were taught, and we gotta walk away and agree to disagree, you know, like... Alright, so... Keep getting cut out here, but... To have, like, a... A friendship with this, somebody like that... I think it would be pretty difficult. Because I'd always want to talk about that, right? But I'm gonna get something to eat. And then I'll head over to Lake Calhoun. There's gonna be a ton of people at Lake Calhoun. It was raining yesterday. It was really like October-like weather. So people are gonna be really in... <laughs> and uh, clearly I'm gonna have to deal with some connection issues. It's better than Facebook uh, so far. I've, I've seen that when I do have connection issues, it at least is trying to connect and it doesn't just shut my feed off like on Facebook. But that was a good closer. You know, that was, good, that was a good way to leave the day. I thought that it was just going to be me rambling on the way out to my car. But talking to those three gentlemen about... NASA lying to us. I, I think the guy um, in the middle was more intrigued. He certainly isn't going to agree with anything that I say or, or anything, but I felt like he was more on board with what I was talking about than his two friends. So check it out. I had a conversation with people. Okay. So we're back. Um, so yeah, if you missed that, uh, you can restart and watch those videos again. Otherwise, I'm going to charge my phone and hopefully get to Lake Calhoun within the hour. And then I'll do another live stream for about 90 minutes or two hours or so. And then we'll just go from there, guys. So thanks everybody for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like what you see. Check out my sponsor too, www.gotlefsa.com. That's good stuff up there. It's kind of like uh, potato tortillas. And so if you enjoyed what you saw today, share it, let other people know. 
and I'll be back, uh, you know, probably about an hour or so. So thanks, guys. Authentic Intent signing off for a bit. Thanks, guys.